okay welcome back this is sql server in this uh, in this module i'm going to show you uh, how to create a backup device and how to backup a database okay let me explain you there are different ways of backing up and there are different ways of the database recovery okay i am going to just actually give you a outline description then you can actually walk on your own and find out more of the details into the how to backup and you know, what type of backup you need for your organization okay okay let's start with the creating a backup device in the server objects there is a option that says create backup device okay click on the right and say new backup device it will actually ask you the location of the backup device you can select it upon the tape or whatever device you want i'm going to select it on the hard disk only there is a screen that i jumped up with the for the backup okay it's telling what file or tape tape is actually disabled the radio button because there no de device is right now connected to the computer okay so i will leave it as it is and i will back up this thing on the hard disk okay and i will back it to the file okay let's wait for some time till it actually opens up the directory okay there we are i'm going to chase check this time check the e drive and it is asking me the file name below i am going to put the name pops backup okay i just created a device pop backup and i am going to click okay okay and the device name is pops device okay click okay and we have created the device for the backup and there you can see in the below the pop and the backup devices in the server object there is a pop devices that has been created okay now let's create a backup right click the database pops and in the task there is a option known as backup before we go to the this thing okay let's go to the right click on the pops database go to the properties okay go to the options in the properties pages okay now there is a option on the recovery model there is a full okay right click see and there is a bulk locked and simple usually we are going to use the full okay in the full what happens is that once you create a full backup okay what it does it actually logs every data that you actually use by select into clause okay if you use a bulk locked it will actually log in the data for the select into clause but it will be very limited okay it's better to have a full backup but it takes a lot of time compared to the bulk locked recovery plan okay the recovery model should be always full simple is never used in most any organization okay in most cases most cases people use a full full the recovery model okay until and unless some organization may be using the bulk logged okay this is very important if that recovery model has not been actually selected actually check it to the full and click okay now let's go and click the task right click the button and say backup okay okay there we are it is already showing me the backup type is full recovery model is full okay now what is full backup differential and transaction log there are three types of backup the first backup is full backup always in the first time you have to create the full backup okay differential is the backup when you create a differential backup it is always the difference between the full backup and the next one okay remember always when whatever differential backup you will be creating it will be always be a difference between the last full backup and the current database okay whatever the current database wherever it is okay the differences between both of the time okay whatever that database has been, has been whatever data has been collected in between that time okay that is actually what differential backup will take transaction log is uh, actually that you keep on actually taking every now and then okay 
the difference between the these two is okay if you are taking if you are taking a full backup and you are take, going to take a transaction why do you need a transaction lock backup because tra transaction lock backups are very small they keep up to the lost they lost actually record of your transaction okay and the thing is that once you take a transaction lock backup the transaction whatever the lock has the backup has been taken is get truncated from the lock okay and the next part of the transaction is from where the next tra transaction lock backup would start now suppose if you took a backup a full backup on monday okay and then you took a transaction lock backup on the monday at 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock every hour now if you wanted to recover at 1 o'clock your database goes down and suppose if you wanted to recover the database you have to restore the database firstly from the full then at whatever the all the transaction log one by one you actually back it up you cannot just go and take up the lost transaction log and try to restore the database okay it doesn't work that way okay but if you had taken a full database on the monday and then you took a differential backup on the tuesday okay and then on a wednesday okay and on a thursday you were also taking the transaction log backups okay on a 10 o'clock 11 o'clock 12 o'clock okay now what happens is on the thursday or at 1 o'clock so around or 12 o'clock your database or 12 30 your database crashes okay so what you can do is that you can take the full backup restore the from the full backup then restore from the lost differential backup and then apply the transaction log you need not apply all the differential backup after the full backup the only differential backup that is needed is the last one and from there onwards you need all the transaction log in the sequence whatever you have backed up up this is very simple you just have to remember the difference between a differential and transaction log transaction log you needed all the transaction log you need backup for the to restore the database from the lost differential or lost full backup whichever you have taken it lost okay otherwise your data won't get restored okay this is how actually the backup works okay select the full now as you know the name is already given okay i can add a device you can change the name to whatever you want so okay this is the window that comes up okay there is a file name actually you can always select a file name because i have created a backup device i will select the backup device you can actually pull down this arrow and see the other backup devices also available to you okay but there aren't any because we have just created one i'm going to click okay okay and i'm going to say okay there are other options here available i will not discuss those thing right now here okay so let's go and select okay okay and the database has been backed up okay completely successfully and when we are back here okay the database has been backed up let's go to the pub database okay let's take a tables i'm going to create a new table okay and then i'm going to take a differential backup now the differential backup would actually have just a new table that is what i have added recently okay that table only would be added to the differential backup okay even if i took a transaction log backup it would be add the same thing okay once i have taken the full backup only the differential backup would add the loss that has changes take the taking place okay two field added just as a demo because i have just added two fields both is allow null okay usually the primary could key if it was this cash id was the primary key it would never allow the null okay and i am going to close this thing and this table data this table is going to ask me the name okay and it says save changes to the dbo table i have said yes okay it will ask me the name i'll say cust demo okay and there we are done we have added the one more table we have to refresh the tables to get the our name here the name has been added take a differential backup okay so right click okay you cannot take a differential backup until and unless you are taking the full backup remember that thing neither can you take a transaction log backup 
ओके टास्क बैकअप फ्रॉम दिस ऑप्शन यू क्लिक द डिफरेंशियल ओके एंड आई कैन एक्चुअली टेक द डिफरेंशियल बैकअप ऑन द सेम डिवाइस और आई कैन टेक इट ऑन सम अदर डिवाइस ओके डिपेंडिंग अपॉन वॉट आई वॉन्ट टू डू विद इट ओके नॉ इफ आई सेलेक्ट ओके बैकअप टू द सेम डिवाइस ओके and we have a full backup of the usually it would be always on a different device remember that thing you don't take it on the same device you don't take it on the same space of the hard disk usually this was i had the device i had created it took it on the same because this is just a demo okay that's it the restore would be taken up in the next part